Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. My name is Frank Walters and today we're going to learn how to do the pencil sketch effect in Adobe Photoshop. If you'd like to follow along and use the same image that we're using, I've left a hyperlink for you down in the, the description below. Alright, so let's get started. Let's come over here to the layers panel and the background layer is selected. We want to press Command or Control J to duplicate that layer. Very good. Now we want to come up to the Adjustments tab right here and click on it. And we want the Hue Saturation Adjustment. And click and drag the Saturation slider all the way to the left. Very good. Click on the Layers tab one more time. And now we want to come down and click on the middle or the duplicated layer. And we're going to change its Blend Mode from Normal to color dodge. And now we want to invert this layer, so press Command or Control I. Very good, we're, all, we're almost done if you can believe it. Now we just gotta do a couple more things. Let's come up here to the menu bar at the very top. And we want to do filter, blur, Gaussian blur, click on that. And we want this to be one pixels. So just put one pixels there and then press OK. And that's it. That's how you create a pencil sketch in Adobe Photoshop. That's all the steps that you need to do. But we're going to go a little bit further because I don't really like the sky very much. And so we're going to clean that up right now. So let's do that. Click on the go to the layers panel and click on the lowest layer, the background layer. Good. Now we're going to go to the menu bar and click on where it says layer, new fill layer, solid color. Just go ahead and press OK. And then in the color picker window, window here, you want to make sure that whatever color you have, it's on white. So bring it up in the far right corner and then press OK. Very good. Now we want to uh, come over here to the Layers panel and this Color Fill layer, it has a built-in white layer mask and we want to delete that. So click on that so it's active and then right click or control click your mouse and you want to do Delete Layer Mask. Good. Now we want, to, we want a layer mask there but not the white one, we want a black one. Okay, so now we come down here to the um, the mask layer. Don't click on it yet. Hold down the Alt Option key on your keyboard and then click it. And you'll see right next to it is a black layer mask. So now what we're going to do is that we're going to paint with the paintbrush in white and remove the clouds. And I'll show you why we're using the black uh, layer mask in just a moment. So let's come over here to the tools where the paintbrush is, right here, the brush tool. You can you can activate it. You can click on it. You can activate it by pressing the B button, and then you come up here to the tool options here. Click on this. You probably have a different number than we do. We have 90 right now. So click on it. We want the hardness to be 100. The type of brush we want a hard round. See it right there? The size, don't worry about the size right now. Uh, the opacity, 100%. The flow, 100%. The smoothing is zero. Okay, now let's click on this to get rid of it. Let's bring our cursor here to the image and then we can look at the, at the width of the brush. It's not, not that big. So we're going to use the right bracket key and make the brush bigger. And that's good right there. And let's, okay, that's 175 pixels. That's perfect. So, what we're going to do is that we're going to create two L's, two big L's. One L is going to be here next to the right side of the Eiffel Tower and over. And the other one will be a backwards L. It'll come down the other side and then all the way over. And what we're going to do is that we're going to paint as close as we can to the Eiffel Tower and then come over here. And then we're going to do a special trick that will let us paint in this other part of the image. Okay, so let's get started. 
Um, let's let's double check. We got everything everything ready to go. The paintbrush is active. The size is 175. Hard round. Opacity 100. Flow 100. Come over here to the color studio. You want to make sure that the white is the foreground and not the black. If your foreground is black, you can press the X key on your keyboard and it alternates those colors. You want to make sure it's white though, okay? Come down to the layers panel and make sure that the black layer mask is active. And if it is, then we're ready to paint. So let's come back to the image here. Okay, we're going to start at the top and we're going to go down along the left side. Try not to hit the Eiffel Tower. If you do multiple strokes, that's totally fine too, because then if you make a mistake, it's less of a mistake that you have to correct. Okay, that one's done. Come down the right side. Let's do the top here. Let's come down the right side. And come over to the right. Okay, so we made a backwards L here and the other normal L here. And it's difficult to see inside here what we still need to do. So thankfully, uh, Adobe Photoshop makes these handy uh, preview thumbnails over here in the layers panel, but it's still kind of small. So let's make it bigger. Hold down the Alt Option key on your keyboard right now and then click on this uh, layer mask preview thumbnail. And there you go, now it's in our screen. If you follow along with me when we did the color splash effect, we, we, did, we did this exact same thing. So now we have to paint in white in these areas here. So I'm gonna use the, the shift key uh, shortcut. So you click one time, hold down shift, and it creates a straight line. And just hold, just keep the uh, shift key held down, and then just make straight lines. To me, it's easier than trying to swish, swish, and get it perfect. All right, same thing, same thing here. Click there, hold down shift, click here. Keep shift held down and paint in the rest white. Doing it this way, having the uh, black layer mask in the middle of the screen makes it really easy. And we know that 100% this area and this area is perfectly painted. Now let's come back here to the layers panel and come back over here to this uh, preview thumbnail. Again, hold down Alt Option and click on that, and then the image comes back. So now all we have to do is, is the fine work. So on your trackpad with two fingers, put, pu push to pull, push pull, can't talk today, push pull the fingers outward so that the image gets closer, and press on the left bracket key so that the paintbrush is smaller, and then we're just gonna start painting and removing the, the cloud from uh, next to the tower. Okay, why do we use a black layer mask? I'll show you. So let's accidentally make a mistake. Oops. So what we can do now um, is press the X key on the keyboard so it switches the foreground color from white to black, and then we can paint this area back in. See that? That, I think that's so cool. So again, I'm going to press the X key so that the uh, foreground is white and you make a mistake. Oops. Right? So then you come up here and you, I'm sorry, you press the X key and you paint the tower back in. Okay, so now we want the, uh, the paint to be white again. And press the X key and let's keep painting. Okay. I'm gonna do this as fast as I can, which is probably not very fast. So don't worry if, if my image is not as perfect as it as it could be. Um, you need to practice practice this on your own and try to be as precise as you can. But for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna go really fast over, over these these uh, these points. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna do this middle part. I'm gonna zoom in with two fingers. I'm pushing them outwards from each other. I'm gonna lower the uh, the brush. Click here. Hold down Shift. Click here. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of it. That's okay. We're trying to we're trying to go fast here. Okay. 
Okay, and then come down here just a little bit right here. Oops, I, I hit that. So again, press the X key. And so that changes the color back to black. And then you can paint in the part that I overpainted. Is that a word overpainted? I think so. Okay, let's correct while we're doing it. We'll correct this part up here too. And press X to change it. Okay, now we're done. Let's press Command or Control Zero to recenter our image. And we are done. This is the effect. So that so that is how you create the pencil sketch effect in Adobe Photoshop and then how you clean it up too using the, the layer masks. Now as an added bonus I want to show you how to make a colored pencil sketch effect. It's super easy. After you've done this one, I call this the black and white, you come over here to the layers panel and the hue saturation layer, the top one, all you do is turn it off. So click on the eyeball. And there we have a beautiful color pencil sketch. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Please like and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time. Bye.